Use our remaining moments here at five to get some more questions for Dr. Gary Minnie from the Medical Center of Southeast Texas. Uh, doctor, this one just came in. It's Friday. The weekend is upon us. We've all been good uh, for the most part. A lot of us doing the social distancing thing. This particular person wants to know, should they be avoiding even small gatherings of family this weekend? So what we're recommending and what the CDC recommends is you should not be in gatherings of more than 10 people. So perhaps a small group of family getting together, if you keep your distance, most people. Uh, right. Social distancing, if you're I gonna do that, say. social distancing, uh, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. There you go. Uh, this question involves daycares. This was submitted just a couple of minutes ago. Uh, if daycares stay open, what should they be doing to keep everyone safe and healthy? And I'm going to interject. Last night we shared a story about this. There's been no directive to close them, right? As far as I know, there hasn't been any directive from the county judges or the uh, governor or, you know, the, the president to close daycares. But again, day, you know, it's social distancing. How many kids are in that daycare? As we all know, uh, those of us that have had kids and they're little, every they're, everything goes in their mouth. Um, so are they, you know, they got to disinfect. Uh, it's hard to get a two-year-old or three-year-old to be constantly washing their hands. So if, um, it, again, it's a social distancing thing and crowds. I don't know what the local officials are going to do or the governor or the president on daycares. But if they have to be there, I would check out how many kids do they have in a room? Are they trying to distance them? How are they sanitizing? All key questions here. Uh, this next one came in. Karen in Nederland asks, there were 63 million cases of swine flu in the U.S. a couple of years back. There are more than 182,000 current coronavirus cases worldwide. She says the media is spending more time on the coronavirus Put this in perspective, what is the difference in severity? Well, they're all different viruses, right? This one is highly contagious, and this is just the beginning of this virus. So, I mean, I think you can get online and see some of these projections. Uh, if it continues to go for months, remember, it's an exponential growth. So if you have, and it, let's just say it doubles every three days. If you have 10,000 people now, in three days, it'll be 20. And three days after that, 40. Three days after that, right, 80. So you can see how fast it can grow. So, you know, you're, they're apples and oranges. You're not comparing apples to apples. Got time for one more quick question. What should you do if someone you live with works in the healthcare industry? So, um, obviously, hopefully they're coming home, they're changing, they're showering. Uh, I guess that's for for most of us in the healthcare industry. When we go home, it's um, hopefully we're doing good hygiene, and I, I, it's like anything else. You know, we all can. The way I would put it is, to, for this whole social distancing, we all should. Assume we're going to pause you there, doctor. I'm sorry. Okay. This is the end of our time, but we will see you back with continuing coverage at six.